Today on the left out for dead, a free snowblower I picked up eight months ago and has just been sitting and I got the part I think it needs just hanging off of it. I think it actually needs a new head gasket um, because I can hear air leaking out the side. So what I think happened was the carburetor got dirty, like all of them. They used starter fluid to try to start it too many times, sprayed too much starter fluid in it and too much combustion and blew out the head gasket. So that's a warning to use too much starter fluid, but we'll go through it. These are awesome old Toro machines. Uh, this is a 521, so five horsepower, 21 inch. Let's take off the head and look at it. It's hard to see it on camera, so or hear it on camera, so I won't make you. And I got a new uh, impact screwdriver. Let's try this. Yep. Nice. This has been worked on before. Right there. Blew it out between the layers. All I do is clean it up, slap that on, we're done. Clean a carburetor, of course. This took very little cleanup. This is a, an extremely low hour machine. I mean, you know, maybe a couple seasons worth of use, but it's gonna be a great machine. It's gonna have tons of power when it goes back together because there's no, there's no wear in it at all. It's just a matter of putting that back on bolting it and torquing it oh if you guys can only smell that I'm gonna go dump that out I put that on put it together and I get the teeniest spark like I don't have good spark at all um, I thought this was barely new enough not to have points but it looks like it does so to get to the points I have to take off the shroud and got it There we go. Firewall key, clean the points. So we adjusted that point gap right there. So it's right where it needs to be, 20 thousandths, by just loosening the screw and messing. This is your condenser up here. Generally, a lot of times they're not even bad. This is the original con Tecumseh condenser, those original points. I bet you it all works now. So put it back together and let's see if she fires up. So either too long a rope or it's not wound all the way in And I'm gonna say it's not wound all the way in So super simple. Let's grab a hook Pull it through And then we wind so I take the piece of rope it's there a lot of times there's a little notch in it This one doesn't have a notch. So we'll just fight it a little bit Pull out enough so they can grab it. it. Doesn't matter really. And we just have to chase this all the way around once. And that puts it one notch tighter. We can pull the rope out. I'm enough fur enough. There we go. And now seats all the way. Put a little um, transmission fluid in here. That is the best lubricant. Super thin oil is all it needs. And transmission fluid is the best. So put it up here, because there's a spring behind this whole plastic thing. So put it up here, just so it drips down the backside. And we'll just lubricate this whole mechanism just enough. That's it. See, we got a spark. Right there. You guys saw that? Carburetor. Sometimes you can get away with cheating, just removing the bottom bowl nut, the bowl, cleaning out the bottom bowl nut. 
and it works. It actually doesn't feel all gummed up, so it actually might work in this scenario. Maybe we'll do that. We'll try that. Yeah, I guess we'll just at least look at the bowl. I already removed the fuel line. These hardened fuel lines, the only way to get them off is to use a heat gun. You heat them up, they just turn pliables brand new. The carburetor looks pristine. That looks fantastic. Um, it just smells like old gas. I think I'm just going to spray that out, put it back, and we might be good. I can just spray through the normal passages I would if I took it all the way off. Maybe we got lucky though. Maybe. That's clean. Put that back on. And we'll clean out the main jet. So, the only key to the main jet is this little. There's one little hole right here to keep you from idling perfectly that everybody misses. That gem right there, that's a hole. Everybody misses that and that keeps you from idling good. Uh, the, the, that big hole down there is like your high. So when you're running fast, the fuel goes through there. But that little thing right there is your idle. And so your, your I mean, machine will just sit there and surge up and down. Rah, 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 rah. If you don't have that clean, and that looks clean, but... Put the fuel line back on, put my primer line back on. All this primer line does is it just pumps a puff of air into the bowl. And if whatever gas is in there, it forces some fuel up into the throat of the carburetor so it starts easier. I think that's it. Put the muffler back on, I guess. Okay, we got gas. Yeah, there's oil. Enough oil to get us started. Um, fuel pack cocks on. I don't see anything leaking or dripping. So... Put it on choke of, I don't know, three primes. Uh, I probably have to adjust the carb, but see if she fires up. A little too much choke. Okay, I changed the wheel last night. It's been sitting all night. It might look sunny and warm outside, but it is like 20 degrees. So, um, let's see if she fires up. Put her on choke. One, two, three. Ready for this, Ginger? 